Hey, what's up? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. And in back of me, we have a 57 Chevy Bel Air four door. It's, it's a really, really nice car. And actually, I painted this thing about eight years ago, all right? It's still holding up nice, but uh, we, we have a couple of scratches here. It's my brother's car, and we have some scratches here, okay? And uh, he's limited on tools. I'm here at his house, and he doesn't have a professional style um, buffer. He doesn't have just all around auto body tools like I do, okay? So we're just working with what we have. We have a little bit of reducer that we had left over, okay? Uh, so if you don't have lacquer thinner, you could use just reducer to clean up the area before you start buffing, all right? So we're gonna put some reducer on our rag, clean this area up, and we're gonna try to do it with this orbital style buffer. A lot of you guys are familiar with this because they sell it in like Sears and stuff and it's just a, a orbital style. It's not a professional, it's not a professional buffer, okay? It vibrates like this and when you put your hand on it, it slows it down. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it, okay? So we're gonna put some compound on and test it. All right, so here's a little voiceover. Um, I knew that buffer wasn't gonna work because those are just good for waxing. They're just a an orbital style buffer it's not really even a high it's not even a high speed buffer it's just an orbital it's good for waxing but um, for DIY purposes do it yourself uh, from home purposes I made the video anyway and uh, we're just going to show you what it, it doesn't even do the trick so what we did later on was actually take out a, a drill a high speed drill put a little buffing adapter on it and we were able to actually buff out this scratch with that we didn't even have any sandpaper to sand it out first but don't worry about that this is just a little video for you guys um, if you want more step-by-step in-depth tutorial videos uh, just check out learnautobodyandpaint.com um, sign up for a free newsletter uh, and our, our free ebook. Uh, we got an 85 page ebook on auto body and paint. Just a whole bunch of tips and videos, free videos and stuff. And uh, I hope you check it out. Again, it's Tony from learnautobodyandpaint.com. And I'll see you in the other videos. Thanks for watching this. Okay, and so uh, please rate it one. and check now it out. Thanks, Mike. We're going to try Thanks, it with our Turtle Wax polishing compound. I like to use 3M, uh, the perfected stuff that you see me using on the other videos. But let's just try it with this, see what happens. The number one important thing is make sure not to burn your paint, okay? That's the number one thing. And uh, make sure you don't hit like some of these edges uh, of this to, to your paint surface. Make sure you keep it flat because we're not using a original type of standard polishing buffer, you know, a professional polishing buffer. It's, it's going to be a little different. We don't have as much cushion as we do, okay? There's no, there's no padding around the edges here, okay? If you look at it, it's just just simple just like that okay so you can see your pad all right so I'm gonna start buffing this area again uh, what we wanted to do was to put a little bit of 2000 sand this area with 2000 to level the clear out a little bit so when we buff it